Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. All right, listen up. Today, I'm going to use 100% of my brain power to teach you three things that you shouldn't do with electricity, like at all. Since everyone always tells you to be responsible, I guess that you should learn what happens when you do the opposite of that. I mean, after all, it's not like you're gonna get hurt, right? because I'm the one who will. You definitely shouldn't use electricity to produce heat. When you think of heat and electricity, a couple of things might come to mind, like an oven or a stove or even a microwave. However, that, that's not what this is about. This is about electrical components heating up when they shouldn't even be warm. This happens when you use an ungodly amount of power that literally cooks the component inside out. And it's usually followed by the release of the magic smoke, the entity in charge of making electronics work. If the magic smoke is gone, then whatever it is you're using is as good as hot garbage. The most common example I can give you is resistors. They are components used to regulate the amount of electrical current flowing through a circuit. However, resistors are also rated to handle specific amounts of power depending on their size and composition. A regular breadboard resistor can handle a around one fourth of a watt. So let me show you what happens when you apply 40 times that. So I have three 10 ohm resistors, which I will connect in parallel to a 10 volt power supply. Meaning that each resistor will receive one amp of current and 10 watts of power. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. Yeah, <laughs> there it is, the magic smoke. Ooh, ooh, oh shit. Mmm, nothing like this. Sweet smell of cancer. Ugh. Look how that turned out. I think it's safe to say I cannot use those resistors anymore. <laughs> yeah, definitely smells like shit. You definitely shouldn't use electricity to blow up stuff. Well, I guess it depends on the stuff. If we're talking about fireworks, then yeah, sure, go ahead. But if it is your final design project, then you probably want it to stay in one piece. Something that usually blows up in a circuit is the capacitor, a component that is used to store electrical energy. Think of it as a small battery that charges and discharges super quickly. Or like a glass that you use to save water for when the sink isn't running. However, what happens when you pour more water than what the glass can hold? It overflows, right? Or in our case, the capacitor becomes a shotgun shell. Capacitors are rated to handle a specific maximum voltage depending on their size. If you connect them to a source that greatly exceeds its ratings, or if you connect them backwards, they will go kaboom. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. This capacitor is rated for 10 volts, so I will connect it to 25 backwards. Negative to positive, positive to bottom, bottom to negative. It's been a pleasure meeting you. No, that was anticlimactic. It seems like that capacitor is a little bit too big. So we would need a higher voltage to make it pop really loud. So I'll just use one with a smaller capacity. But don't worry, in this case, smaller doesn't mean worse. You most definitely shouldn't use electricity to taste people. Now, if we're talking about super bad ways of using electricity, I have to mention the most obvious one, electrocuting people, which is quite illegal. You see, at low voltages, you can touch the two ends of a power supply and nothing will happen. Since our dry skin has a high resistance, the current flowing is so small that we cannot perceive it. Luckily for us, there is this little thing called voltage booster that allows us to step up low voltages to thousands of volts. It is so high that it's able to create a spark and you need at least 30,000 volts for that to happen on a one centimeter gap. So let's see how that feels like. To be completely honest with you, even though I've been using these modules for a few years already, I've never actually tasted myself. I know, it's surprising. Not even I can believe that I never made a mistake when handling them. But today is the day that streak ends. So I connected the booster to my power supply and taped it to my arm. I'm already regretting this. You usually power this thing with five volts or more, but I'm gonna start with one because you know I don't want to lose my arm on the first try anyway here we go in three two one huh it felt like if a bee stung stung me stung me yeah stung me it's not that bad like yeah, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna increase the voltage to two volts. Okay, there we go. I think that this is kind of exponential. So two volts is gonna be definitely way worse than a sting. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Shit. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it was definitely exponential. Should I bring it up to three? Okay, I'm gonna bring it up to three, but I think that's gonna be the limit. If the sensation of going from one to two, it's like going from one to 10, then from two to three is probably like from 10 to like 50. Three, 
two, one. Ooh! Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. Jesus, three was bad. Three was bad. Okay, let's go to four. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah. That's enough. That's definitely enough. Thank you for watching and do me a favor. Do not replicate anything you saw in this video. That's it. Bye.